Hi everyone! Today I'll be sharing with you a recipe for deep fried ice cream. This is a popular snack at Taiwanese night markets and if you miss traveling, well, you could try your hand at replicating this street food at home. There are just a few ingredients that you will need, such as bread, ice cream, and oil for deep frying, and a little bit of flour and water. It looks easy to do, but with our weather, you have to work really, really fast. You start by removing the crust of the bread, flattening it with a rolling pin, and dabbing on a flour mixture. This will help to seal the sandwich with the filling inside. And for the filling, of course, you'll be using ice cream. You can use any flavour of your choice. Just make sure that you work fast enough because, like I said, the ice cream melts really fast. Check out my recipe online for the full details and tips on how to, well, make this recipe a success. It may look easy, but it did take me quite a few tries before I got it right. Use a glass that has a diameter of 7cm as a mold to shape the sandwich into a disc shape. Don't try to shake out the sandwich from the glass. Carefully pick at the edge and gently ease it out. Then press down the edges to seal it. Some online recipes will say freeze the sandwich for about 30 minutes to an hour before frying but I found that it's best to freeze it for at least 4 hours or ideally overnight. Yes, it does take patience to make this dish work. You're going to be using about 400ml of cooking oil. That may seem a lot, but what you want to do is to make sure that the sandwich can be fully submerged in the oil for flash drying. Get the oil to about 180 to 200 degrees Celsius and you're good to go. Now, an important tip is to not remove the ice cream sandwiches from the freezer until you are absolutely ready to fry. So, get it straight from the freezer into the boiling hot oil and that will make your chances of success much higher. Ta-da! So, you see, the ice cream inside is well frozen. You don't have to fry it for a really long time. In fact, you shouldn't. And this is really a dish that you shouldn't be dawdling over and best eaten stove side. Hope you enjoyed this recipe and do check out the article online for the full details on how to pull off this dish. And happy cooking!